hi aries welcome to your daily love reading my name is pretty and i'll be doing your love reading today so before we begin with your love reading aries please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not okay so let's begin with your love reading aries Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy. Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is a card of um, having to have patience with the situation. Things are progressing slowly. It's like waiting for the, the results from the effort that you've put into something. You may feel very invested in something, but again, it's taking a while to see any fruits. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the moon, Pisces energy, the lovers, Gemini energy, and the sun, Leo energy. So yeah, it does look like there's someone here who's appearing to be quite mysterious, almost like you're waiting for this person to give you answers or to give you some sort of clarity. With the moon, you feel like you've been left in the dark and you've been waiting on this person. There's this feeling of having had to be very patient with the person and the situation. Um, you do feel the strong connection with the lovers, but there's also fear behind it because of that lack of clarity. You could be dealing with someone who's not very um, emotionally vulnerable. Um, and it's like you're holding out for some sort of clarity, like them to open up to you. With the lovers, the, this person is aware that they need to open up to you. They, they are aware that it's like they're looking at the situation as you guys being at a crossroads and them having to make a decision. So it does look like they will be making a decision. You will get some sort of clarity from this person because this is someone who they struggle with emotions um, with the moon card. They struggle with fears and insecurities um, and this has been holding them back thus far. But with the sun card being there, it looks like your patience will pay off because this one, this person will give you that that clarity that you've been waiting for. And with the sun being the indicator for that clarity, it looks like good news, you know, because the sun is a very positive happy card and with the lovers next to it it's like this person they do view this connection in a more positive light than you may realize they see you as someone who brings them joy someone who is a source of light someone who's optimistic someone who makes them happy and someone who could be a soulmate um, but they do realize that they haven't been very vulnerable or expressive with you and there's a choice that they are making here with the lovers so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so we have the Fool, and this is Aquarius energy. So yeah, it looks like this person is going to take a leap of faith. They're going to do something a bit out of their comfort zone. If this is someone who's usually very reserved, it looks like they're going to open up to you. They're going to take that chance. They are looking at you as a safe person. They're looking at you as um, someone they can trust, someone they can open up to. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the world, fixed sign energy, the devil in the reverse, Capricorn energy, and the wheel of fortune, fixed sign energy. So you will be seeing positive change. With the wheel of fortune, it does look like you guys are coming out of that dark place. You're leaving this moon energy, moving towards the sun energy. A difficult period is coming to a close with the world card here. There's something about wrapping up a period that was full of, you know, confusion or striving, uh, difficulty this person is freeing themselves from fear whatever was holding them back with the devil in the reverse they're releasing it and they're choosing love there's something here about making the choice to give themselves over to this connection the the wheel is turning around here it's like this is finally happening and it's been in divine timing because the seven of pentacles 
this is someone you had to kind of wait on like there was this feeling of needing to be patient because this divine timing was at play here and it's finally time for this connection because this person is finally making that that decision to open up to you and to give themselves to this connection to be to be raw with you to be vulnerable and to surrender control to release this need to have it all con under control with the devil here it's like a toxic form of control they they free themselves from that or this is fear they they're releasing fears or low self-esteem and doubts you know that negative energy okay so i'm gonna pull out an oracle card for you aries Okay, we have two cards here. We have Take Time to Breathe Out, Disseminating Moon, and we have Your Dreams Need a Practical Plan, Full Moon in Taurus. Yeah, it looks like someone is ready for this connection. Um, there's, there's this feeling of coming out of that striving period into a situation where you can kind of relax, like this person is giving you some sort of peace of mind. They are going to make practical efforts towards you. You'll be like tangible. You'll be seeing their efforts. Someone who's showing you that they are invested in this. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Ari. Okay, we have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you okay so there is a message here of needing to move carefully with this person there is again that, that your dreams need a practical plan something about also being uh, realistic with this situation with this person okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you Okay, we have rainbows and messages when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for stars you will be hearing from this person okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice series Okay, we have surrender your desire to control people. Being over controlling can sabotage relationships. To more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.